What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Immaculate Grid video. Today is June 30th, 2023. Not sure my availability for this upcoming weekend and the chance for me to put together these videos and play live for you guys to be able to watch me break it down and watch my brain go to work. But today's Friday, June 30th. Like I said, Immaculate Grid number 88. We're going to put five minutes on the timer. We're going to click the link. We're going to dive straight into it. And we're going to try to go for as fast as we possibly can today. Um, sometimes you just hit a roadblock and you see these teams and the matchups and the categories put together and you get stumped, you know, and you got to spend some time to think about it. But ultimately, we're going to try to go as quickly as we possibly can with the five minute timer today. So Immaculate Grid, 88, five minute timer. Click the link, dive straight into it. Here we go. Play on the timer, five minutes. Here we go. Phillies and Tigers. Matt Veerling, welcome, 11%. Tigers, Rookie of the Year, got a hold on that. Rays, Rookie of the Year, got a hold on that. Uh, guys that won Rookie of the Year and had 40-plus home run seasons. Gosh, man, we're, we're, we're already, <laughs> already hitting a few roadblocks here. Um, Tigers and Blue Jays, David Price. Let's do it. 35%. Uh, Tampa Bay and... Toronto, Tampa Bay and Toronto, Tampa Bay and Toronto, Tampa Bay and Toronto. Uh, Melvin up. Upton? Hello. BJ Upton. Hello. Upton. I just typed in BJ. Thanks for coming though. 3%. What's going on, BJ? 40 home run season. For the Blue Jays, give me Josh Donaldson, 5%. Love that. 40 home run season for the Philadelphia Phillies. Ryan Howard's obviously the easy answer. Yeah, we'll just go Ryan Howard. Boom. Phillies and Tampa Bay. I feel like there's an easy answer for this one. Did Matt Moore ever play for the Phillies? I think he did. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it, man. It's probably a bad answer. 2%. Love that. Matt Moore, Philadelphia, and Tampa Bay. All right, rookie of the year and 40 home run season. So Mike Trout definitely got rookie of the year and 40 home run season. 8%, not bad. Tampa Bay, rookie of the year. Evan Longoria? I think he's the only answer. Oh, it's one of the only answers. 51%. Longoria. Now we have two and a half minutes left. Let's see what we can do here. Detroit Rookie of the Year. Hmm. Detroit Rookie of the Year. This one's going to stump me, if I'm being honest with you. Thinking about younger guys on Detroit in recent memory... Oh my gosh. Who who have they called up? Did J did Verlander? We're going to go with Justin Verlander for Tigers rookie of the year, 67% and a 245 rarity score. We did it in 3 minutes, 245 rarity score. We got an immaculate grid. Honestly, Considering the rarity score, the speed, and everything else we just went through, I think that's probably my best performance so far. Nine for nine, under 250 on the rarity score, under three minutes to complete. We could only go up from there or try to beat that, but I think that's got to be our baseline. I think that's got to be the, the target for us to go for and beat is to go under three minutes, under 250 in the rarity score. Honestly, that's just not bad at all. I mean... Some higher ones, but I think the ones saving us there, BJ Upton, Matt Moore, Josh Donaldson, Trout, honestly, 40 homer rookie of the year. I don't know how many guys have done that. Must be a lot, uh, and we, we can see some of the other answers here today. Let's check out today's stats. Aaron Judge, Ryan Howard, Jose Bautista. I knew Jose Bautista was going to be the Blue Jays' number one answer, and I would I would even venture to guess Edwin Encarnacion was the second best answer. Kevin Kiermeyer. Um, so we only got, we got three of the top answers, right? Or is David Price 
Okay, so we got Price, Verlander, Longoria, and Ryan Howard. So four of the of the five top number one answers. But then the other ones really saved us there. Matt Moore, BJ Upton, Josh Donaldson, even Matt Veerling to a degree. I'm surprised Matt Veerling even got 11%, but um, he did. Doesn't matter. We go immaculate. We go nine for nine. We have a rarity score under 250, which is always the target, always the goal. And the average score today was seven on the nose. 108,000 games played of the Immaculate Grid. And yeah, it looks like 97% of people got Blue Jays 40 home run season. That's crazy. 97% of people got Phillies 40 home run season. That's also crazy. The lowest targeted one or the lowest one uh, looks like is honestly that top left corner, which is David Price. Interesting. And then the second lowest was the middle quadrant here. But ultimately, guys, really successful Friday for us today. Immaculate Grid, number 88, 9 for 9, 245 rarity score, done in under three minutes. Can't get much better than that to round out your week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to slap a like on it. Let me know in the comments who you guys went with as alternatives for maybe some of the higher percentage category, higher percentage picks that I made in Immaculate Grid 88 for today. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy this type of content and you'd like to see me and my brain work in real time, test my baseball knowledge, um, and enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your 4th of July, everything else. I know that's still a couple of days away, but if for whatever reason I'm not able to see you guys or talk to you guys, until then, enjoy it, and otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.